Hey everyone, my name is Matt. Welcome to my backyard. Today, my buddy John's back again, so we're going to do uh, a more cinematic version of a Sama video. For those of you who like that, here we go. For those of you who don't, I'm sorry. But I like it because it's kind of fun. I don't have to move the camera around, and it's, it's John's problem, not mine. So today, John actually brought by a bunch of, uh, you know, for me, small walnut. So we're going to be cutting up some uh, smaller walnut logs for John. His dad's here as well. He brought a 17 foot long cherry log all the way from Michigan. So we'll get to that later too. But uh, John would like to make a table. So we got this first one on here. This is going to be tabletop boards or something like that. So we're going to kind of run through this guy first. And then we have the four kind of smaller cylindrical ones over there, which we'll cut all at once. And then we have a, like a smaller crotchy looking thing, which we'll do as well. And we'll get through all of that and then we'll do this really long cherry log. So it should be like a fun little sawmill day kind of thing. So let's, uh, let's jump into it, I guess. Okay, so you want probably like three boards for a top? Would you say 30 inch wide top? Something like that. Yeah, so you only need three boards. I'm just gonna cut it and hopefully it works out for you. That's great. See, now I'm talking to the camera. Who is John? John is the camera. Camera is John. There we go, so we're just kind of into the beginning of the heartwood now. I don't know if what John's feelings are on sapwood, so we'll see, I guess, what he has to say about that, but he's got a good chunk of heartwood there to start with. Those little tiny logs. Oh, that's it, yep. <laughs> I use all my power for the flip. A lot of tree in there. Okay. Uh, so, well, this first board's gonna be kind of. Yep, that's fine. Yeah.
this is pretty nice. Heavy. All right, so since this thing is losing so much weight and it's kind of moving around again, it's gonna throw these back on top. I'll do one just to help hold it in place. Eh. Here's my clamp aboard. So we're gonna be closer to the bed now, so I'm gonna move these out of the way. Because they're gonna be in the way. Unless, do you wanna cut this one again? No? Can you see anything being done with it? Nope. That's your problem, not mine. No. <laughs> I just cut it, I don't know. Here's a good spot for it. Ha! <laughs> All the way. Look at that. Normally, I have stuff like this that use my uh, handheld drill. But the problem with having a house and then buying a second house and also having a warehouse, that's all your stuff all over the place. So before we uh, set this aside, let's take a look at John's future new table. We'll lay out a few boards and just give him an idea of what it could possibly look like. So he's looking to do something at least 30 inches wide, so you should only need three of these wider ones, which come in around 13 or so. So even after they're edged, you should be able to get uh, easily 10 inch wide boards out of them. Maybe I will get some water. I can't do a video without a little bit of water. Baby slabs call for baby buckets of water. Matt's mini water toss, here we go. It's good enough. I can spread it around. Oh man, so as we, uh, as we always say with the, uh, the walnut, this stuff will oxidize as it gets exposed to air out here. So right now it's, it should look very green to you. And you know, about a half hour or so, it's gonna turn that more purpley color like you see down in here, especially down here in the end. You can see the end grain has been oxidizing. Air has been coming in through the end grain, oxidizing this, so you get that nice kind of purple color. This is what the whole thing will be like. So, ugh. These will make some really nice, uh, nice little tabletop. So we got, yeah, 13 and a half between the bark. And yeah, things are almost eight feet long. Yeah, seven and a half. So there's a nice little table. Don't worry, John, I'll move all your boards for you. You just stand behind the camera and just keep filming moving stuff. <laughs> If you, do it, if you do it enough. Do you do it enough? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> so shelves. So we're making shelves. Any, any idea on the thickness of these unbeknownst shelves? Nope. Nope. Okay, John wants shelves, whatever that means. So we're gonna cut these at uh, five quarter and then that last one over there is a little bit bigger. We're gonna do some eight quarter out of that because uh, John is super decisive today. It's gonna be, this is probably the right order. Biggest to smallest diameter. 
And then this is kind of a goofy shape, though. Do you want these edged, or do you want... I even asked you, do you want this edge? Do you want them live edge? Or you can make a decision. I don't know. Whatever. Whatever you want to do. I don't understand your logic here. <laughs> he doesn't have any logic. He's leaning on you so he can figure out what to do because you're the master. Oh, well, yeah, but I was like... <laughs> Should we do something? I don't know. You got, you got a fireplace? No? Okay, well... <laughs> Does your friend have a fireplace? Do your parents have a fireplace? You gonna put a mantle to that? <laughs> I'm gonna roll it. Oh, boy. Uh, actually, you know what? Let's leave it like that. We'll just tuck it in here. I'll okay. oh, put some crotch figurines one for you. That just kind of, that kind of just kind slide of slide in. in. Yeah. We get down far enough to cut into it. Is he gonna actually pick this up by hand? What is this world I'm living in? Get <laughs> the up. There goes my car keys and my phone's ringing. Call you later. Good height on that. Did you get that, John? How many shelves do you need? A lot of shelves? You got a lot of stuff to hang up? <laughs> I, got, I got a lot of stuff, Matt, all right? Leave me alone. these shelves. Oh, so good. All right. That's pretty cool. Not bad for a little tiny stick. Ooh, some goofy stuff. Not bad. Kind of fun. See what that last one's got. <laughs> Can't tell if it's like a knot or a nail. Nope, it's just crap. Or I just cut myself. 
Apparently I cut myself on where that was. Nothing. What the hell I cut myself on? Oh, there's your bloodwood. <laughs> All right. Well, that's fun. All right, John. Another one or what? Yeah, let's do it. See, I can do one more cut without moving these stops. All right. That is really pretty. I, you know, you get bored, you never notice. Seeing it in a raw form, coming into a flat form. Oh, yeah. And then trimming it down, it's like, then it's pretty, you know? It, it takes a lot to go from a log to a finished piece. Right. There's a lot there. Well, you the, get a much limbs. better perspective of how they all form together and why the grain is the way it is based on how the tree grew and where you're cutting it and everything. Exactly. Yep. My math going here. One and three, two and three quarters. Okay. Right. Oh, it's still pretty wet. Yeah. So this side's kind of green oh, still. Here we go. Look at that. There you go. The that one's coming through. oxidizing from the end grain from previously, but yeah, we're getting there. Definitely a lot less green than it used to be. <laughs> Look at that. That's that's pretty cool actually. Not that I've seen a whole lot of wood I don't like, but with this swirly grain coming out here for this knot, yeah, that's cool. That's gonna be a nice shelf, John. Better hang that one up in a nice spot. Put some good stuff on this thing. <laughs> this is either gonna be hilarious for the people who actually like my videos or extremely obnoxious. I can't tell yet which. Right, here's one with some crotch figure. Wah. There we go. There we go. Got a little bit of a uh, crotch figure there at the top. And this is from the center of the tree, so this is the pith, and this is all going to be quarter sawn here to the left and the right of the pith. So nice straight grain. Walnut does not really have like huge reflex, so it's not super visible as quarter sawn besides the fact it's straight grain, but nice little piece of wood. Yeah. That's a good log. That's not bad. Do you want me to take the curve out or leave it in? What'd you do? I don't know, what are you gonna make out of it? Shelves. <laughs> Shelves. <laughs> ah. I guess it's just kind of, this right here is just kind of goofy. So I think what I would do is just turn it 90 and saw it in this orientation probably. Okay, so eight ish. Let's do it. Eight quarter ish, maybe. And then figure out what you're gonna make out of it later. Yeah, but I went the other way. I started woodworking and like seeing a deficiency in the material like I had. Yep. And then realized I can cut my stock however I wanted it for the projects and styles I like to make. Right. So that's the direction that I went. Okay. Was, so you had your head working that direction already. Yeah. I already knew like what I wanted out of the material, but I couldn't find it because it wasn't like no one saw in weird stuff that they like to work with. Right. So that's the direction I went. That's how I saw that deficiency and I fixed it myself. And then here we are, several years later. 
and beautiful things Knee deep are being in made. stuff. Or do you want to do half the log at eight and half the log at six? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, Matt, I haven't made anything out of this. It's stuck in my garage. I need to get rid of it. Can I just leave it at your house forever? <laughs> Most sawmills are only built to just kind of handle this as like the common thing. This is the size that most people cut. So those saws are made to cut basically this. And the sawmill is only like this wide. This would be like a max cut for a lot of saws. And I still got all this to go. It's just weird. Just weird to think about. Okay. You can cut little logs on a big sawmill, but it's kind of hard to go the other way. Hope you're ready for some fireworks. Okay, let's slice it up. That first cut there removed the curve. This looked pretty straight, but it wasn't. And now we're into the heartwood. Still, always crazy when it's green. Throws you off at first. All right. That's actually a pretty good sized log. Where am I going? Okay. Would you like six quarter or eight quarter from this side? <laughs> Like you need any more decisions to make. I think, I think you just cut it. Just cut it? Cut it to your heart's content. Well, I gotta figure out the math on this one so it works out. Let's see if I have two good eight pieces of eight quarter and then three six quarter. Nice. Good log, John. Good one. All right. That's some nice straight green stuff. Nice. Very nice. How did I say it was? Good. Thanks so. That stops. That one might be a little. I'll bump that one down real quick. I don't really feel like destroying this blade in an instant. The remainder is exactly what you want. Okay.
Yep. It's a 220 single phase into this thing, and, and it'll be three phase out. Yeah. Yep. And it'll break the motor and slow start it too. Yep. Which is nice. Otherwise, this thing would take a long time to stop spinning. It's like a long time, minutes. and see what the heck we're dealing with. I'm really not sure what we're going to be dealing with here because this thing is... It's got some crazy pattern in it, isn't it? Well, we got... How many crotches are in here? This is a crazy thing. It's like a baby crotch here. Crotch. Crotch. The crotch over there. The crotch here. Um, I think we'll do this face down and then we'll slice through this way? Maybe? I think we can get you at least one guitar body out of this. From probably down here. This side's got this big rod hole going on. You're lucky I like weird stuff. The only reason I picked it up off the ground. <laughs> Matt would like this. Also trying to, oh yeah, so it's gotta be, this has to come over and be able to touch the rail. So, That's okay, so we'll do this. Okay. And I'll put a piece of wood in here. Hey, remember all those offcuts <laughs> that I threw over here? Now I gotta bring them back. Yeah, if it moves, it'll stop. That's the theory, at least. Ah, where are we going here? Somewhere around there, 18 something. We'll see. Here we go. Let's see what we got in here. Show a pretty cool bullseye thing from this giant limb that's sticking strip in the air. Oh, this is, this is neat. Let me grab some, uh, I'll grab a little bit of water here. Take a closer look. Crazy things, but this looks promising. Yeah, there we go. I got a little bit of figure from above that limb. How's that? Is that, is that a guitar body enough for you? There you go, one big giant guitar body. Good luck. If you plan this accurately, you can put your hiccups in that hole yeah. when you cut that out. Yeah, 14 wide, so that's your standard guitar body width by 16, 18. Yeah, that's, uh, that's a body. You have your curves for the shape and everything. There you go. Boom, done. Next log. <laughs> there, I'll come to you. There. Yeah. Yeah. This is a goofy thing. That is cool. This is one of the goofiest things ever cut. Really? Yeah. I bet it's going to be great grain pattern though. It's going to be pretty. Good. Oh, that's guaranteed. It's going to be nuts. It's the weird life I've picked for myself. See, we found another body in here. By that, I mean guitar body, not a body body. <laughs> well, this side is much goofier. <sighs> but just like in shape. We got, look at an old limb that was pruned off. Hey, that's pretty cool. Let's see how big this is. All right, so it's not quite wide enough for your standard body down here, but up here you could do something. One of those little V things. <laughs> What's it called? Flying V. The yeah, flying V, there you go. That'll give you enough thickness for bodies. And 
Whatever. And then some planing, and then whatever else you come up with it. Okay, should we get there? All right. Well, that's that is bizarre. <laughs> this is this is bizarre. That is weird. <sighs> it's like removed. Did it grow around something? And that came out? Because it's not like this, like tore. Like this was part of the tree that tore away. This grew around something. Like another limb that was in here that just kind of fell out. I don't know. That's weird. Hey, check out this green. That's pretty cool. This is cool, look at this. Look at all this crazy figure around there. Yeah, this is, this is gonna work out, I think. Good gamble on this one, John. But I like this old limb here. And it's almost got like a little bit of figure from the tree where it grew around it. This is cool. Good, right? Yeah. Yep. Inch. Okie dokie. Last cut. So because there's a lot of crazy stuff in here, we're gonna take a look at all the slabs. Uh, on a side note, since I haven't mentioned yet, my uh, official water toss bucket has uh, suffered a very fatal end. So we're using a little tiny anchor seal bucket today. I'll have to get a new bucket. Maybe like a custom like sweet stainless steel one or something. Dramatic effect. <laughs> I might have to do like a double bucket. Oh, that is cool. Look at this stuff. Some really cool crotch figure around this old limb. Probably one of the coolest things about this is this limb here, which was pruned off. You can see the pruning mark. You can see the grain actually growing around here to close up that wound and continue growing out. So we actually have some figure lines here coming out from that area. And this is some really cool figure and stuff all over the place here. So lots of little crazy pockets of figure in this thing. Really, really weird shape because all this is missing in the middle here. But some interesting, cool little figure pockets here and there. Let's see what we got next. I'm gonna get John wet. There we go. 
Yeah, this is going to oxidize and darken up really nicely. You can see a lot of that happening here. This is a lot more of what the color is going to be like in a little while. This is just some cool stuff. This one's got less figure and it's more interesting color. And just general, look how wide these growth rings are. Yeah, there's some figure down there. A little bit of curl around that little knot thing there. There you go. <laughs> John's like, I felt that one. Did I just pee my pants? Or is that just Matt? <laughs> uh, <laughs> get some of the water off. There we go. So we got some really cool figure happening right through here and a little bit over there too. So I think, uh, I'm thinking John's gonna make some guitars. That's gonna be his new project. Shelves and guitars. Shelves for the guitars. <laughs> oh yeah, and a table. I forgot about the table already. <laughs> See, this is cool. That would make an awesome guitar top. Right through here, where this like thing comes together, you get all this figure through here and you're getting a little bit of sapwood peeking through. A lot of interesting color and things going on there. So like that, that's my vote for guitar body. going on with this guy. This last one's gonna be a little smaller. Mostly sapwood, but that's some pretty cool color through there. You got a little bit of blackish tones. A lot of interesting colors on this one here. You got more like grays and blacks kind of streaking through there in the green. Otherwise though, it's mostly all sapwood. There's some bark. <laughs> so that takes care of this log, I guess. Yeah, it's gonna be a cool guitar. I'm, I'm making a decision. This is the guitar one for John. <laughs> he has no say in it. <laughs> so uh, what we're gonna do? We're gonna get all of this. There's a lot more here than I think either of us was kind of anticipating of how much lumber these little logs are gonna produce. So we're gonna get all this stuff kind of out of here, and then we're gonna get the cherry log uh, off that trailer. All right, well, okay, it's like 16 and a half to the very tippy tops there. The 12 feet's right here, like where the crotch starts. So, you just want straight grain, right? For the canoe or? Because otherwise, like, you got 12 feet to here and then you got a crotch section to have crotch stuff. More guitar blanks, I guess. All right, so this cherry log is 17, uh, 16 and a half feet long, which is a little too long for the saw. So we're gonna be cutting it right here at 12, and they'll give us a 12 foot log for uh, whatever boards or whatever. Then we got some uh, crotch wood up here. So I've got my chainsaw, and of course, I've got this giant bar on it from when I was just trimming on the sawmill the other day. So this is way too long for this, but I'm too lazy to change the bar out. So we're gonna just roll with it.
on. Thank you. I'm gonna move this stuff first, I think. That's cool. That pretty. I tell you, this, this is it. That's the one. <laughs> that's the guitar. That's the guitar. I agree with you. Yeah. See? That's the guitar. That's that's gonna be beautiful. There you go. I think John ought to let the old man videotape next time. <laughs> for, you know? For him it's starting to feel like work. Five quarter of the rest of it? What you said? Yeah. Five. Yeah, so they'll give us mostly flat area and I'll come down and make one pass to make one board and then we'll flip it. Okay. I hope you got that. Oh, I love cherry. Such a good smell. How's that? Oh, we haven't even got to the good stuff yet. Wait till we get to the crotch. Oh, this is promising. Very promising. So we're gonna roll this thing over now because it's super unstable. And now we got a flat uh, cut to reference off of. Should make this a lot easier, so. Flip a root time. Ready? One, two, three. There you go. So five times three. Four. Under the eight quarter, okay.
<laughs> better side. Crash. Eight quarter, here we go. Take a break. This is pretty incredible stuff. You do it however you think is the best way to do it. There's no go, wrong ready? way. Huh? Oh, going for the slow approach. That's that's a pretty long crotch feather. I think we cut it off like almost, well, there's a little more crotch in that other log, but we got almost all of it in there. That's how it changes from the growth, and then it gets tighter. Yep. All about where you intersect the tree at. Those are the two sections of the tree tying together. That's some nice stuff. Good job, Michigan. That was still pretty. Yeah, I think that was the prettiest one. This is still good, but I think that other one's a little prettier. This blade's cutting pretty nicely, though. Still, weird. even for how dirty the track is, it's not bad. Actually, it's not too bad. I'm gonna we'll do a little, a little, a little bit of this. Maybe a little more. Now that we're into it. That's pretty good. You sure you don't want another piece of eight quarter? Yeah, let's do another piece of eight quarter. Okay. That just looks so nice. But the thing is, if you can add the smell to it, the sound, smell of it. All right, I'm gonna start like packing up. Okay, he wants to buy like a little bag of Asada. So when we're, we watch one of these videos, just toss in the air and it's like you're here. It's perfect. <laughs> There's a lot of wood. <laughs> that is incredible. Carry on with the theme of the day. This is, this is a lot more than I was expecting. He's it's pretty, it's a very, him. very solid crotch. Let's see what we got here. Man, this is a lot of wood. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I saw that one going better in my head. There you go. Oh, yeah. Very nice, guys. Very nice. Sorry, winch. We're gonna get some interesting things going on here, that's for sure. 
Well, as long as you don't catapult yourself into the neighbor's yard, that should be all right. okay. Seems a little loose. That's a little loose on that one, huh? Oh, God. I forgot to lock. See, I'm telling you, I'm having a day now. I forgot to put the pins in. Yeah, you're going to jam something underneath this in, aren't you? Yep. Stop. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's a learning before, experience. Before I get too far ahead of myself. Okay. Some in the middle, so I'll probably I'm down like 18, 18 inch. Where are we at? So I think it make this a little bit faster for us. I'll come in, I'll take this whole chunk, I'll put it aside, I'll set it down next to it, make it to eight quarter, and then we'll cut the rest of it all, all right. down to, the, to the, uh, the bed. Oh, that's a nice log. Isn't that pretty? <laughs> Kids are watching. You know, I gotta show off a little bit. This is how bad it is right now. It's so late in the day, I can't think. 12 and a quarter minus two and a quarter is 10. Have one of those brain moments. There you go.
So this one's a little more towards the outside. So we got some more kind of plain sun, cathedral green things going on here versus the one we just looked at, which was some more quarter sun. But we still have a lot of kind of rift and almost quarter sun stuff towards the outside here. That's nice. Where are you gonna put it? Probably right here. Or anywhere that's not on top of where it is right now. I'll just put it up here. Ooh, another nice one. Surprise. <laughs> I like cherry. It's nice. I think I say that about every wood. I like insert wood name here. It's nice. It will oxidize, but it takes a lot longer. Like, uh, well, it takes a couple days like in the sun. It'll oxidize to a much deeper red, like more like this or like after a year if it's been finished. There we go. That's nice. I forgot already. What did you want for the rest of it? Five quarter. Five? Okay. Let me stop it down then. I guess we can set these slabs on the forks for now. Let the old fat guy get out of here. <laughs> Thanks. Oh man. <laughs> uh, I don't know. There you go. Good enough. To line them up. Duff, duff. They got pulled together. Drop down. There. That should be That's not a small board. No, it's not. Jeez, 20 inches wide. This log is bigger than I thought it was. All these logs are bigger than I thought they were. <laughs> That's today, is everything's bigger than you think. Surprise. Yeah, so then, then the, the reduction through the pulleys, then these wheels are spinning at 595. The blade is moving at four and a half thousand feet. Torque. I got a lot of torque in this thing. And a lot of inertia, which what you need.
That's pretty darn close. Uh, let me get in here. Sorry about this. I think that dropped. I can't yep. tell. Okay. okay. That is nice. <sighs> That's some really nice cherry. Like, this has ended up being a really nice log. Look how clear this is. I think it's, is that 100% clear? There's one little tiny knot down there. Otherwise, we got some little tiny like burl kind of things going on down here. But 12 feet of pretty much totally clear cherry. Really? One more time with the fake, fake motions. <laughs> All right. Drive around. <laughs> doing this for a long time and it still looks like a lot of wood yeah look at all this i know look at like you had like oh we'll have some small logs on a trailer now i got a trailer full of boards somehow so this was a really fun day i had a great time uh out here cutting all this stuff uh, this when they first got here with this trailer full of logs i was like oh it's just a little bit of logs but after it's turned to boards like this somehow it seems to have like taken up more volume than it did before which is uh bizarre and crazy but Anyway, I had a fun time. I think, I think John had a fun time running the camera. I know his dad had an amazing time today. Didn't you? That's yeah. Great <laughs> so hopefully, uh, hopefully you enjoyed the video. It's a little bit different. It's like the other one that John shot. This one's probably a little more uh, weirder and crazier because I'm just trying to have fun today. And I think we, uh, we accomplished that. At least I accomplished that. Well, we, the collective three of us, I don't know about you at home. If you had fun but i know we did so thank you as always for watching i greatly appreciate it if you have any questions or comments on the sawmill anything back in the shop please feel free to leave me a comment as always i'll be happy to answer any questions you might have and until next time <laughs> happy working <laughs>